All right, what's up, guys? It goes always welcome back to another Smogun OU battle versus Alex from Reddit. And uh, yeah, this looks great. Two free ghost Pokemon. So this is this is a pseudo legendary ish team, though. Metagross, Elements, Tarantar, and um, Dragapult, all the Colossales. But yeah, I mean, it's a problematic matchup for sure. Uh, I don't see a Grand type, which is kind of good for Melikith, my Marowak, if I want to get that one to be used well. But I also see a bit of a problematic matchup with uh, Arrows, my, my uh, Slow King. So I think I'm going to lead up with our class mainly because at least he can pressure the majority of these mods. The only mod kind of fearing there is uh, actually Tyranitar, I think. It's probably the worst of of the matchups I can be going up against. But besides that, I feel alright. So to Alex, good luck, have fun, don't destroy me. I wonder, he wouldn't lead off with Tyranitar though. I think Dragapult is a safe lead for him. Let's see, oh, the... Alright. So, not the strongest lead. I have Focus Blast, but it's not like I have a... Um, very strategic plan of actually getting that out of the way. Don't have like a natural switch into this either. Um, figure he probably stone it here. I'm actually not sitting Malekith, at least I can stomach a hit. And I think Bonerang should scare him out somewhat. Let's find out, really. Stealth Rocks, right? He got me. Or, you know, Focus Blast would not have KO'd him, so he had a. It was safe for him. I'm actually going to go for a rather safe knockoff, I think. Could stone edge, but knockoff feels kind of safe. I don't believe you want to stay into this. Yeah, like, it makes sense. To... Ooh, to drag a pull, that's, this is going to work great. Surprise doesn't bring a floater. This is absolutely killing him. <laughs> Whack! <laughs> Got him. Okay. Okay, we've got scope lens. That was a tough that was a tough decision to make. It really was. It really was. Metagross. That though, like could it be Meteor Beam? I'm pretty sure knockoff kills him too. Could have ice punch maybe. I do deal with the stab quite right. At least one hit I should have in me. Psychic. Oh, it's special based. Oh, this is gonna sting then. Oof. But I'm pretty sure I knock him out too. <laughs> no? <laughs> Damn, was it close? <laughs> That's a monster. Alright. Um, so, either Cetrion to Defog. Or arrows to just stomach whatever hit you want to throw at me. Special base metagross are always scary. I don't deal with them well at all. Let's see. Combination of a hammer arm. Cool. I'm gonna stomach that. Ish. Um, I really just wanna try to get like a safe teleport to um, Cetrion to get the defog off. I don't believe he has any combination on me that would threaten me quite naturally, but he do have the Tyranitar who naturally keeps me at bay. Um, yeah, keep sucking, which is alright. And teleport allows me to bring in Cetrion for free. Not getting too heavily whittled down for our class. Or the mailman, really. Pretty sure that um, the mailman outspeed, but I want to miss the attack and I don't. Damn it, it's a combination though. I don't like it. <laughs> right, sentry on and um, leveling here, but. I mean, defog for me makes sense. I 
I'll just really, really think about this. He can always like throw back the stealth rocks no matter what. But yeah, defog. And he's just gonna go for natural psychic again, I think. Or a flash cannon, really. Oh. Yeah, like does clear body <laughs> negate the defog? That would have been unfortunate. Flash cannon. I really like that it's special based. Even though I can kinda take the damage, I still like the concept a lot really. Um now I wanna go for draining kiss, but I don't wanna take the risk of it not killing. So we're surfing here, take him out. Yeah. Like Tyranitar is such a threat for me. I'm glad it was self rock though. That means it hopefully isn't like the most devastating set. All right, let's see. Tyranitar is a good switch in, but so is Gengar. Yeah, like there we go. Um, mainly because I don't deal well with Gengar with the team I have, right? There is nothing you want to take the damage from it. It really isn't. Shadow Ball is actually tremendously awful for me to take. It doesn't need arrows anyway. Hope for a sludge bomb. Let's see... Thunder Punch! Hey! Now this is a mad lad. He is definitely losing stellar stuff. I'm, I can respect this. I can definitely respect this. Okay. Okay. So do I want a Scald or I want a Future Sight? I think I want to teleport again, actually. Take the Shadow Ball as well as I can. Phantom Force. Wow. Yeah, he is. Alex, you're absolute mad lad, and I really, really like you for it. Alright. Gonna send in Mikorith, and... Um, the thing here, I will outspeed him. By the way, I won't get... Because Earthquake can't... Huh. I think it's the Nogar that gets him, right? So what I'll do is Soul Stance. I'll try to scare him a little bit. By the way, I did... I defogged away the terrain, didn't I? That's a nasty combination indeed. Right? Earthquaking here. I don't know what I want to bring in. By the way, people are celebrating New Year's Eve, though we are like a few, like a week away. Just heads up for explosions behind me. Huh. All right, withdrawals. I think that's fair. Two Salamons. That's actually an awful, awful mon to bring in. Hmm. We do not like that. At all. Um, send in Cetrion and uh, I think it's Dragon Dance O'Clock for him. I'm just glad it was um, Intimidate and not Moxie. Flame Thrower. Fair enough. So, this is clearly not the best. Drenik is here, I think I switch, he should switch out to Gengar, for sure. Or Tarantar. Let's see, Gengar, yeah. So if we had a Sash, I guess we break through that, but uh, besides that, we're not going to do a stellar damage here. Yeah, that's actually mildly disappointing. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And curse body. <laughs> Wait, he's black sludge. I like that. 
So we already seen the Thunder Punch. And we already clearly know his physical. Um, I'm actually gonna bring in Malekith. I think... I hope it goes for Thunder Punch first and foremost, but I really hope I can stomach whatever he throws at me. If I'm lucky, I think I can take out. Yes! If I'm lucky, I think I can take a Shadow shadow Claw. Or a Phantom Force. I'm just gonna knock off here. Could bring in... Um, um, the Pikachu copy. Brings in Salamence, which is fair. Gonna knock him off. And now we know he's special. So he's like reverse teamed his old team and that's actually uh, looking to be quite right. That knockoff did do well. Salt was too. So we're not taking hurricanes, we're not taking any, anything of that. Um, though I have every reason to believe. Yeah, he's gonna go for. If I were him, I absolutely go for. Um, a Dragon Dance or a Hurricane. I think it goes for a Hurricane here. Or Roost. Playing for her. So that's better-ish. Still does a lot though. For me, Thunderbolt is actually quite easy. And I think Tyranitar is a Pokemon that makes sense to bring in. So with that in mind, let's find out what it really decides to do. If Tyranitar comes in, I have a tough decision to make. And that is whether or not I want to throw in Buswell directly into that. He is thinking though. Yeah, he... Oh, protects. So that's fair. So, yeah, I can't risk it. I really cannot. I have to attack him. Even if Tyranitar come in, I have to attack him. I could always have nasty plotted, but he's just not there. <sighs> now, I really hope he's in the Soul Twist. We kind of get that confirmation on this damage. It's not a Soul Twist. Oh, and he gets crippled. Ooh. Do I wanna... Do I wanna focus blast on this? <laughs> you bet your ass I want to. Please, connect this. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Ice Beam. He is reversing his whole team, and what do you know? It almost worked. I swear, though. I swear if this sandstorm knocks me out. Oh, one more in me. So, if I were him, I clearly bring in... Yeah, I Thunderbolt in here, like Mimikyu, right? You wanna get my sense? You wanna Sandstorm to kill me? I get that. Come on. <laughs> I know that's your play. It has to be your play. Come on, buddy. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Right, Ice Beam is fair enough. So, that did not go as planned. Shellwell. That's, that's, I like this. I like this way more than I should. Um, now I could bring in the Mailman, which would be just fun. But at the same time, he should carry Flamethrower, right? So I'm bringing in Malekith because it's the play that makes most sense. It's just... The horror I'm facing is... Um, like, Stone Edge is my safest play. Earthquake will absolutely kill him. I got a Stone Edge. Even if he sacks play, I got a Stone Edge. He withdraws. Good. Salamence? Yes. Connect this. Malekith, I need you to connect this. All of that focus blast mist behind us. Can't do any more of those. What's wrong with you? 
Ah. I'm getting punished for the wrong reasons. Um, so we're seeing protect already. We've seen. We've seen a problematic things yet. Hurricane, flamethrower, protect. Most likely roost if I were him. Ah, this is a long ass game for all the wrong reasons. Flamethrower, spare. No, it was a salt vest, so there is no way he has a roost. Unless he suspected that he would need it. So, I think I throw off a future site here. I mean, my opponent is doing way better than he should. And I'll be honest, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Alright, withdraw is fair to Gengar. So right, it is his call. I'm gonna teleport here. Will o wisp. Which isn't the worst for me. Or it's not the best either, really. Uh, but we know it's physical, so we can send him Malekith. And he can will wisp again, by the way, but uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't appreciate this matchup. Wisping, it's fair. Which mean, means probably BMQ is gonna be rougher on me, naturally. Let's see, this knockoff will do. Absolutely kill him. <laughs> oh, I really like Marowak right now. It is just phenomenal. So with that said, does it bring in Salamence or does it bring in Mimikyu? Salamence. Which time after time has thrown me flamethrowers. And nothing else. I still have good use out of Malekith for all the wrong reasons. Can send in arrows again. I've already seen kind of what he can do or wants to do. So I think we pressure him naturally here. Protect, that's fair. Question is, do I scald here or future sides? I think I scald actually. Because I think Tyranitar comes in. And if we burn him, we are in a alright position. Yeah, we draw a sphere to Tranzar. I have no idea what my damage output for this, but I know I'm faster. Which should do alright. Let's see, Treeman is left. Oh yeah. How about that? So what I wanna do is uh, she just sides here, no matter what it does. I want to have that one active, even if the dark falls could kill me. It shouldn't. Oh, he had physical moves too. This is gonna do all right. Right, we're in this. Scalding here. Take this sucker out. Then it's all about the Mimikyu. But while well, the future side active, I think it kicks in next turn. So let's see what it wants to do. Here comes the Mimikyu, and quite frankly, I think a Shadow Ball should do plenty. Without a doubt, really. 
Um, sword status, so a bit greedy. A bit greedy. I'm gonna break his disguise. I think future sight is probably. You know, I shouldn't say it's in range of killing him, but it should definitely do damage. Oh, and we get the burn because that's just how this game works. I'm sorry, man. Alex, that was absolutely your last stitch effort. So yeah, that sucks. Let's see how much would have the buff for that sandstorm. Here comes the future signs, and it will do. So yeah, that was kind of rough. So there was citrus involved there. Damn shame, really. Damn shame, really. Oh, it's so much residual. It is so much residual. All right. Just take me out, buddy. Okay. We're doing the Dynamax now. I see ya. I hope we went for a fairy move. Oh, it won't matter. It won't matter. At this point, there is no way Alex can bring this bring this game home. Not only is he burned, but... Um, my Sceptile of Speech and... Uh, if he went for... Which he didn't. Um, <laughs> if he went for a fairy move... I would have guaranteed my position, but since it's Dynamax, I'm actually able to outspeed and kill him with um, with my Sceptile. So it's a damn shame, really, that the time I got the best of us because it's only become conceptual from here. But uh, yeah, you know, we were in the little sweet spot position where we definitely could have pressured our opponent. But instead, I guess I'm sending in the mailman, just showing that I got it. The blunder support mailman. If he misses his his post he's gonna deliver anyway so yeah I mean nothing will happen so it's my opponent Alex I just want to say GG really fun game and uh, I hope you guys have been watching that um, you like this game too because I sure as hell had uh, a blast here and <laughs> it could have got a lot closer than I ended up with so that's it, guys always thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video until then as always take care of one